Hi, this is PD at Bergsburg Arcade at BergsburgArcade.com, and today we actually had uh, the new version of Unity released, which is Unity 3.4, and I wanted to start going over some of the cool new features in it, just for the people that um, are either struggling with some of the features or might not even know about them. And I think I'm going to start off with a, an easy one that I think is actually quite useful. Uh, that's the new Gizmos. So let's go ahead and create a game object. Well, first off, for those who don't know what a Gizmo is, if we take a look here, we see this little camera. And it belongs to this main camera up here. And if we take a look, when we select it, we can see the camera. We can also see the full stream, but that's not part of the actual Gizmo. Uh, basically, Gizmos are very useful for being able to see things in your, in your scene. Uh, in the editor, before the actual game is running, stuff that you won't actually see while the game is is running like your your players won't see that but you want to be able to see them in game so you can actually tell where they are another very popular one that you'll actually see is of course uh something like a light uh, so let's go ahead and actually just throw a spotlight in here and i'll bring this up and let's rotate it a bit it really doesn't matter uh if you take a look here we have the little light gizmo and of course when we click off we can see it uh, but what about ones that you actually make yourself we notice there's you know you just give us some things uh, but it doesn't cover everything. So for instance, if we went ahead and made this cube, and let's go ahead and actually move this cube a bit. So I'll just come up here, select the transform, we'll just move it over here. I think that's actually in the way of the spotlight, which it is, which is kind of what I want. I'm just going to move it just a little bit closer so we can actually see it a bit better. Uh, we can actually see something like this here in game. So in order to click it, we can just click on it. Same thing with the uh, spotlight and the camera. Now, what about stuff that does not have a mesh attached to it? So if we create an empty, I'm going to move this just above the cube. Uh, the only way we can actually tell uh, where this is in our scene is actually by selecting it and looking to, well, see where it is. If we click off of it, we have no way to actually click on this thing again. Uh, so let's go ahead and make a gizmo for it. So this is my empty game object, and this can be useful for all sorts of things. Uh, for instance, if you had, um, well, maybe something that turned on and off. Let's say you uh, had a torch, and the flame actually flickered on and off. Um, for, for instance, during the day it's turned off, and at night it will be turned on. But you still want to be able to see this thing uh, in your game. Well, not actually in the game, but in your scene view. We can come up here, and if we notice this little uh, multicolored cube up here, if we click this, we notice we're presented with a few options here. Uh, the first set is actually, if you select it, you'll get the name and highlighted by the color. So I'm just going to call this uh, Torchlight. And if I click off of it, we see the Torchlight. And if we scroll around in our scene, we'll notice that it always faces the camera. And of course, now we can click it to actually select our item in the hierarchy. And if we don't want to actually have the name, we just want some small representation, we can actually go ahead and just click one of these little circles here. And of course, when you click off it, you still see the circle. And of course, you have the much larger uh, tri or diamond. And the really cool thing is you can actually create your own. So you can go out and make any texture you want. You're going to have to be mindful of the actual size of the texture. I've gone ahead and just used this torch that I have from our hack and slash tutorial and I've put it in I'm assigning it as my gizmo and if I scroll around there it is but as you can see that's that's quite a bit bigger than what I want and there's a few ways to do this uh, as far as scaling it goes you can actually come into the gizmos here and you'll notice you have your icon set for your default uh, game objects uh, you can actually go ahead and scale them but this is going to scale all of them and that's not quite what I want. So what you're going to have to do is actually come down to what you're using for your gizmo. And as you can see, I have it set to 1024 by 1024. It's actually 128 by 128. So I'm actually going to shrink this down to, let's go 64 by 64. I'll just hit apply. And it did shrink it, but not quite enough. So I'm actually going to go in and shrink this down to 32 by 32. And there we go. It's about the same size as the rest of my gizmos. Uh, it's probably still a little bit larger not well if it is it's not that much larger you know i could live with it being this size and of course when you scroll out you notice it stays the same size and scroll on just like the rest of your gizmos uh, but this is actually very handy we did actually cover gizmos in our little hack and slash tutorial series and this is i think going to be way better 
But anyway, that's it for Gizmos, and I'll see you in the next uh, video. Bye-bye.